Hello, Harry. Do you really think this is a good idea? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? We're looking deep within my psyche. We're looking... I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. I do know Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium's a great game. You should play it. It's really good. If you like detective things, if you like lots of dialogue options and choices, if you like point and click adventures, um, if you just like RPGs, Dungeons and Dragons in, ge in general, you should definitely play it. It's got an incredible art style. You play as a detective who's a bit, uh, a bit of an ex-alcoholic. They're sort of losing their mind. They've had a bit of a shitty time, struggling with a lot of things. And now they find them. You find yourself in a in a place where there's been a murder, and you have to solve it. And all while that's going on, your psyche's talking to you and trying to help you out, and also not helping. All the while, there's this sort of political narrative going on because there's a workers' strike going on. There's some like revolutionaries. It's all it's all sorts. There's there's liberals. There's there's centrists. There's fascists. There's communists they're all here they're all doing their thing and that like plays a part in the story um meanwhile there's also like this whole cryptid storyline which is really funky and cool and also plays a part in the whole overall story it's just a great game and you should play it but what did that make me think of there i was playing the game i was like wow look at this art it's incredible Every character has their own little drawing, their own little portrait. And I was like, I want to give that a go. I'm going to try that painterly, comic booky, oil painty style. And I'm going to draw myself. Why not? What should I do for the content of this video? Well, I'll do one of those political alignment tests. Because that can't go wrong. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, look. I, these things, they're not, they're not set in stone. They don't really mean anything, necessarily. They're just a bit of fun. It is what it is. But I also don't want to waste too much time. Let's just do it. I'll link what I'm, do what I'm doing down below. Um, it's the politicalcompass.org website. Um, and I'm going to do the test. And you find out your political alignment based on the questions that they ask. That's cool, isn't it? You know, I'm going to explain some of my reasonings. Maybe I'm not going to explain all of them. Who knows? You'll just have to find out. Okay, for the, so the first one, it just says, um, here's a few propositions to start with concerning, no less, how you see the country and the world. So starting small there. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Strongly, di no, strongly agree, obviously. Like, what's the point in something that exists that is not helping humans, but it's helping a made-up, imagined company that doesn't exist, really? So it's only helping, like, a few people. Now, I know there'll be some fucking right-wing economy fools that would say, like, oh, but if you help the transnational corporations, then it would help everyone in the long run. And it's just like, that's just bullshit. It's, that's just made up. There's no proof of that. In fact, there's proof against it because the 1% exists. Like, people like Jeff fucking Bezos, Elon Musk, they're not fucking helping us. All right? This is question one. We need to move on. I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. Disagree. Um, do I like where I live? Sure. Did I choose where I live? No. Are countries and borders completely arbitrary and made up? Yes. So, do I like tea? Yeah. But am I patriotic? No, not at all. Um, no one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. There we go. Strongly agree. Um, our race has many superior qualities compared to other races. Strongly disagree. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. <sighs> Tricky one. Interesting one. That there. No, I wouldn't say friend. I'm going to say I'm going to say disagree. Not strongly disagree, but disagree. An enemy of your enemy is is a maybe a, a an ally for a short period of time. That let, let's just say that's a low bar for friendship. We both have the same enemy. Anyway, military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. <sighs> 
I'm gonna have to say disagree. Gonna have to say disagree because because of the nature of how the military exists. Sure, can we invent some sort of scenario where it's like, oh yeah, that that one soldier was a was a hero because they defied international law and they they like killed, they got someone they they took someone down and it was a get technically against the law but. But, but they, you know, they save the day. Like, sure, okay, yeah, we can make that scenario. But also, international laws are there to protect human rights. And so, therefore, these, these laws, the, the, these military actions that would be, in the real world, taken to, that defy international law are going to be done by, like, authoritative power, aren't they? They're going to be done by things like the American military across the world and it's not going to be done by like some sort of small country somewhere and some little some hero soldier it's going to be horrible so yeah disagree there is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment agree agree there is including this is this information is it entertainment we'll never know right we're on to the next page um now the economy we're talking attitudes here, not FTSE index. Not sure what that is. Maybe I should. Um, people are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Agree, I would argue that. Um, that you've got more in common with um, people. We all have more in common than like billionaires, even if we're the same race. Easy. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Inflation made up thing, money's made up system. Unemployment is actual people's jobs, so therefore disagree. Um, you know, you can, economists are gonna be pissing their pants, but like numbers, inflation, all bull, all, all, all money, just made up numbers on screens. That is less important. I know inflate, I know what inflation is. I understand it, that it would lead to, to, you know, bad things happen for the economy, so then therefore to people's jobs. I get it. But, like, if, if, if we had to focus on something as, as the area to help people with, focusing on the imagined numbers is obviously going to be less important than focusing on real people. Whether or not you think they're super, you know, that was the question. Anyway, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. See, yes, agree. Like, this is the thing I can, I can you can kind of sometimes see where like, um, right, kind of right wing libertarians get their ideas versus how sometimes they, they think that like people who are like left and libertarian they call them like communists, but it's only because it's like there are some laws and regulations that need to be mandated at, at, at a top level for the for good that affect the things like the Amazons of the world, the, the oil companies, like just because you yourself might not be contributing to something, you might want to have like no rules, this is my life. You can't tell me what to do. That's fine. But there there are things that need to be done. Otherwise, it would be like madness. Have you played Bioshock? You get it. From each according to his ability to each according to his need. Uh, fundamentally, yes, it acknowledges, you know, fundamental differences between people. It, it's that classic uh, diagram of the equality, equity and and the real whatever that thing is the people looking over the fence you know giving boxes to someone to look over the fence versus just taking the fence away anyway y you know what i'm talking about um the free of the market the free of the people uh, i'm going to have to disagree with that one markets made up markets imagined what? Um, it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled branded consumer product. Strongly agree. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. I do strongly agree deep down, but if I was like trying to think, plan a society, I guess I would invent something different than just buying land. Like no one would, 
buy land. That that concept seems just totally unnecessary and unfair. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to society. Strongly agree. The stock market's bullshit. NFT's bullshit. Bitcoin, bullshit. It's all nonsense. Billionaires. The 1%. Ah! Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Um, I don't know what protectionism is. Let's look it up. Protectionism is the eco economic policy of restricting imports from other countries through methods such as tariffs on imported goods. Uh, policy of protecting domestic industries against foreign competition. Oh, okay. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I mean, I guess so, but only because of where we're at. Because we have this international trade going on and we have capitalism, it might be a good idea sometimes to be like, look, we can boost this local trade if we put on tariffs for international stuff just so we help out the local and then they can help out their local industry. Sure, but I also understand that it, 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 it turns into this ridiculous, weird, again, made up bullshit where things are arbitrarily sent miles around the country. Things are arbitrarily like really expensive one place and not in another for like next to no reason. So it can be used pretty in, in a bad way. So you know what, I'm really unsure on this one. There is a broad consensus among e economists that protectionism has a negative effect on economic growth and economic welfare, while free trade and reduction of trade barriers has a positive effect on economic growth. Yeah, but economists, like you can argue that you're like unbiased and just like, yeah, good economy stuff, but what does that even mean? What does that mean for real people? That's what I hate about some of this shit. Um, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Sure, yeah, I guess sometimes it's necessary. Um, the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Strongly disagree. Um, the rich are too highly taxed. Uh, strongly disagree. They are not taxed enough. And some of them aren't even paying their tax. Um, those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Uh, strongly disagree. We should all have the same access to medical care. We're alive. We're all valued equally. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You don't deserve more than anyone else. Um, governments should penalise businesses that mislead the public. I mean, yes. Agree. Genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Strongly agree. Um, next page, because that's what's going on right now and people are still like, oh yeah, free market. Okay, what are we on now? Now a look at some of your personal social values. Abortion when the woman's life is not threatened should always be illegal. Strongly disagree. All authority should be questioned. Strongly agree. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go for disagree. Revenge don't solve nothing, but you know, even though I'm sure it'd be sometimes, you know, that person that slapped you does just need a good slapping, doesn't it? <laughs> um, taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theatres or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Well, now that's an interesting one. I would argue that if we sorted out tax, if we actually tax the rich fairly, then that tax money would then be used to benefit everyone through things like theatres and museums. And they shouldn't, theatres and museums shouldn't be this sort of like commercial business thing that's like, they just got to survive by doing, getting funding from like companies and like, oh, this museum's brought to you by kin whatever. Like, so that I, I've got an issue with the way this is worded. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up. Like, no, we should have, yeah, it, they should be propped up by taxpayers and we should be taxing the rich more. I'm gonna just press, I uh, disagree. Um, schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Again, tricky one, because you're like, well, obviously I think everyone should have an education. Everyone should experience, like, school on the whole, as long as it's working for that child, 
is like a good social thing, but there are so many things that like go into it not being good. So, for example, you know, um, you know, schools that are underfunded, um, schools, private schools, the fact that you know people can just like quote unquote like pay for a better education, like it all should be funded more. Everyone should have the same access to education. But if something is 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 not working for someone and they they need another way. Then I'm not talking about private schools. I'm talking about like things like homeschooling or whatever. I don't know.、Um, that's a tricky one. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. In theory, I agree, but in theory, I also disagree. Everyone should have access to this school. You should attend to get an education to be taught about things. Like obviously, if people would agree with that statement, I guess they shouldn't make it compulsory. But. That's hard. That's a, that's a strange one.、Um, all people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. <laughs> Strongly disagree. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Strongly disagree.、Um, don't hit your kids. It has no scientific proof to actually benefit anything.、Um, doesn't do anything. It's proven.、Um, it's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Um, yeah, children are human beings. They're as complex as you and anyone. Oftentimes, there was something interesting I was reading about how、um, children are often made to feel like bad. They're made to feel small or unimportant a lot of the time, simply through being children. And yet, you know, they are human beings. They're the future. They've got complex brains. Anyway. Um, possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offence. Strongly agree. I mean, it, what? It's the same as like alcohol. Drugs should be legalised across the board. That wouldn't lead to anarchy. It would just mean the decriminalisation because we all know that drugs use is being criminalised in a way that's being used for like racist laws, and it's being used to. Criminalize working class people essentially, and not criminalize the people you know, the Wolf of Wall Streets one percent who are just like also doing coke. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs.、Mm, disagree. It's not all about jobs because now we've got to the point where schools are seen as sort of like factories just to get a job at the end, some bullshit thing. They're not teaching us the right things. They're not teaching us for teaching's sake as well. Just education being a good thing. So I disagree with that.、Um, people, but but at the same time, acknowledging that yes, it's important. Like getting a job and like wanting to learn something, and then getting a job is also an important part of the system.、Um, but it's not like the fundamental reason, and that and it's and it's being used that like it's being used against us. So we're like learning poorly just because it's like oh well, but you can just use this to get a job, and it's like a rubbish job. Anyway, people with serious. Inheritable disability should not be allowed to reproduce. Strongly disagree. That is some fascist eugenic shit right there.、Um, the most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Strongly disagree. There are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. Strongly agree. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. Disagree.、Um, our lives shouldn't be about work. Although I want a functioning society where everyone's looking out for one another. At the same time. Um, we are human beings, organisms on a rock. We can we can say that all these made up things are there for our own good, and we can say that they're important and necessary, but fundamentally they're not. And we should therefore look to ways, look for ways to make society work on in a better way. Because all these things are like, all the arguments are always like, you know, thinking way too small. It's like yeah, obviously we want. The key workers to to for society to still function and people to you know help one another, but that's not the situation we've got. We've got an unfair, unbalanced society, so we need to redistribute that wealth and work. You know, when you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Well, that's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, I'm gonna say disagree in the term in the sense that. You know, you need to tackle your own, your own psyche, your own psychology, your own mental well-being. 
Um, but at the same time, there is like a, a, a grain of truth to to sort of just a very simplified look at sort of, uh, you know, thinking positively, thinking negatively and how you can like help yourself. Um, but I'm going to press disagree. Um, first generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Disagree. Um, totally can. Fundamentally, we just need better cohesion across the board, across all countries, don't we? Um, you know, obviously language barrier is tough, but th that doesn't mean anything. Um, what's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us. Strongly disagree. Oh, well done, Amazon. Our planet's dying. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. Not sure what they're trying to get at with this one. I mean, okay, sure. I obviously believe that there should be, you know, public funded things like, and it can be independent and good and necessary. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm against not, that was a confusing one for me only because it's like, <laughs> only because of my issues with what the BBC is. The BBC, like higher ups now are basically all Tories. So that's what we're getting. And we're not getting fair, balanced, news on what the Tories are doing. We're on number four of six. We're almost there, everyone. We're almost there. This is going to be a long video. I hope you enjoy the drawing. It's me, by the way. It's a portrait of me, self-portrait. Don't know if, whether I even said that. It's a portrait of me in the Disco Elysium style. You know, they're, they're quite like unflattering um, portraits. They're like very real. They show a lot of like skin detail and like... But anyway, moving on, we're on number four of six. And how do I see the wider society? Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counter-terrorism. Agree. I mean, do I agree, though? Again, it, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because I, I understand that there's lots of uh, right-wing libertarian types that would be very much like, You can't make me do that. I need to have my gun. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. But... I guess they're not technically talking about that as well. They're, th they're talking about like our information data is being taken for, to the, for the government just for like surveillance on people. So yeah, I also agree that is bad as well. And that's almost like separate from the issue of like how terrorism is a, is a, as, is a, topic of conversation and what that actually is. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in democratic political system. Well, you see, the thing is, technically, yeah, that's a true statement, isn't it? But that's what makes a democracy, is the arguing. Um, but that's whether or not you even believe that we even have a democracy. The places that claim they have democracies are running under the thumb of transnational corporations, the elite, the, the people with money, the 1%, and fundamentally these minor changes in the political parties, they're unable to control the higher powers that be. Um, so where where's that answer? So I'm going to disagree by saying that's an advantage, even though technically it's true, um, but that's what you want from a democracy, isn't it? Uh, representation of people. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. See, now this is the classic case of uh, nothing to hide, nothing to fear, um, which is bullshit, and we should be entitled to privacy. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly disagree. No need of it. Absolutely no need. Sometimes they kill the wrong person. That should be more than enough to just stop doing it across the board. Just imprison someone for life. And then that's not even going into the issues of what prison industrial complex is and how bad it is and how it is also used in, in a racialized, unfair, unjust way. So the number of people in prison to begin with is false, is wrong, is unnecessary. And prisons themselves should also be more rehabilitative than just randomly locking people up. But anyway, in a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Obviously, I love that. 
Yeah, obey and command. That's what I'm all about. No, obviously, strongly disagree. Um, abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Now we're on to the real shit. Forget about all that politics. We're on to art. Abstract art shouldn't be considered art. It's not art at all. I could do that. I could do that. What is that? That's just a bit of paint on the canvas, isn't it? I could do that. It's just abstract art. Um, obviously, I strongly disagree. Um, abstract art's great. Uh, in criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. What was I just saying? I could write this test myself. Uh, strongly disagree. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. Strongly disagree. Uh, the business person and the, we're all human beings. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Yes. No, strongly disagree. Um, mothers may have careers. What are we fighting for? What's the point in life without art, okay? Business, numbers, bullshit. Survival, yes. But business, manufacturing, cut that shit out. What are we? Organisms on a rock, writing, dancing, expressing ourselves. Am I right? Uh, mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Strongly disagree. Mothers are women. Women are humans. Um, multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Strongly agree. I, I remember studying this in school. Coca-Cola literally goes to a place, builds a factory, soaks up all the water from around the place to make fucking Coca-Cola, and then agriculture dies around them and then they give coca-cola instead of water to the people around that's actually happened there's case studies that's insane making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity strongly disagree that's what everyone says just everyone's like oh you're gonna grow up and you'll be more no fight the system crush it crush it Grow older, continue the fight. Always have that. Even if maybe you can't do something about something, still doesn't mean you should abandon those ideals. Next page. If you got through that okay, you'll find these propositions on religion a breeze. Look, this is a quirky little test. They're having fun with this. Um, astrology accurately explains many things. I'm going to disagree, even though I appreciate astrology. Quite like it. Um, if you're living your life thinking that you're getting direct answers to questions, obviously wrong. But do I also acknowledge that we are part of the universe? We are the same as everything around it. Because there is a sun, there's a moon, there is there is the water cycle, there's plants growing. We are within a system. We are in an ecosystem that is the universe. Sound waves, light waves, we are part of like a, a whole thing that obviously... There's connections and obviously th everything's interconnected. To necessarily say that like those stars are like that and that explains something. Sure, I disagree. But uh, anyway, you cannot be moral without being religious. Strongly disagree. Morality is outside of religion. That's just a human thing. Religion is something made up like rules and principles and ideas that have been made up. But we all have morality within us. Um, now, you, you obviously, then it'd be like, oh, yeah, that's because God placed it there. But no, there is no higher power God. There's no other intelligence. God is the universe. We are all the same as it. So, But there's no, like, creator that's, like, made morality. Anyway, moving on. Charity is better than social security as a means of being. Strongly disagree. The system, the society that we've created should be helping people. It shouldn't be, a, like, a choice. Some people are naturally unlucky. I'm going to go for disagree, that although luck exists, I don't think people are born lucky or unlucky. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Strongly disagree. That's a very vague thing for, to begin with, which religion. Um, but the values are human values, not religious ones. Next page. We're, 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 we're almost there. We're almost at the end. We've gotten through it. Finally, a look at sex. Great. We're ending it with sex. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. Strongly disagree. Marriage is made up. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Yeah, they should not be excluded. Strongly agree. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. 
agree. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Strongly disagree. Uh, these days, openness about sex has gone too far. Strongly disagree. What? What a strange thing. Now let's see where we... Hey, this is it. We're done. We're finished. We're done. We've done it. Let's... I hope you've enjoyed this portrait of me. Um, but we fi we finished it now. I'm sorry it took a while. It's probably quite a long one. But you've sat through it. So let's see who this stranger... What this stranger d did on this test. It goes left, right on the economic scale. There's a, there's a social scale of authoritarian to libertarian down top to bottom. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Your political compass. I'm on the bottom left. Left libertarian. This is where I was last time. Economic left, right. Minus 8.25. Uh, social libertarian slash authoritarian. Minus 8.21. There you go. Uh, it's done. Th that's it. That's the picture. There it is. That's where I am at. Well, uh, it used to tell you, like, examples of other people. Well, there you go. That's what we found out today, everyone. Um, that's where I'm at. I hope that interested you at all. Did it interest me? Moderately. Did I think... I thought this would be a good idea. Maybe it's not. Let me know your thoughts. That was that on that. I gotta get back to doing some actual work now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this though. Better videos to come. Watch my- I've done some good pixel art. Last video, please watch that. And I'm sure there'll be more pixel art to come. There'll be more animations, there'll be some more fun stuff. I like these tests. I don't think- obviously I don't think they necessarily are 100% solid confirmation of stuff. They're fun. Maybe I'll do one of those personality tests at some point. Yeah, play Disco Elysium. I believe the artist was Alexander Rostov. Go check out them. And there's me, a weird kind of unflattering portrait of me. You're welcome. See you, see you soon. See you again. See you again for another video. I've got to end this video quick because it's way too long now. Um, be well. I'll see you soon.